Well, hey friends, I have a few minutes. I'm in the carpool line and I wanted to chat with you today about managing stress during the holidays. And the number one question to ask yourself to ensure that you will have a stress-free holidays. I'm also gonna share some tips with you about how to keep stress at bay during the holidays, as well as some resources that will hopefully help you tame the stress. So the question that you wanna ask yourself is, what will a successful holiday look like for my family and I? So I would recommend sitting down with each one of your family members and asking them, what is the one thing that they want to do this holiday season that if they don't get it done if they don't do it it won't feel like christmas to them their answers may surprise you some may be, be some may be more elaborate than others some might be really simple and some may be things that weren't even on your radar at all but it's so important to ask them those things so that they too can feel like they are having a happy fun joy-filled holiday so when you sit down on December 26th, after the holiday is all over and after the month of preparation has been finished, how do you want to feel? What are the hopes for you and your family? What are the things that you hope to have accomplished? What would you be really disappointed and sad about if you didn't complete them this holiday season? Those are the questions that need to go through your mind, but ultimately you need to ask yourself, what does a successful holiday look like for you and your family? And that ultimately has to be the guiding force throughout all of the things that come across your path this holiday season. If all of the events and all of the stuff that come into your path bring excess stress, if they are making your family miserable, that is not equating to success at all. So you need to be really intentional about keeping that focus in your mind about what a successful holiday looks like. Maybe that means you need to set aside a little bit of time to journal things out, to reflect, to talk with your family members, and really think about how you want this holiday season to go. And when things come in your path that are threatening to take that joy and to take that success away, you need to be strong enough to say no. You don't need to give a bunch of explanations. You simply just need to say no. We need to learn to manage our expectations when it comes to the holidays. Sometimes we really want that perfect Christmas. We want that Norman Rockwell painting. We want the beauty. We want the bliss. We want it just to be a Hallmark movie and the reality is, is that isn't always going to happen in fact for most of us that's a long shot to happen so we need to have some healthy expectations about what the holiday will look like to help reduce stress this holiday season you need to take time for yourself I know you have a million things to do, but let me encourage you to cycle back and cross off some of those million things to do that are sucking out your time, that are sucking out your joy, and ultimately are not bringing success into your Christmas season. During the holidays, we see more people than we usually do. We participate in more activities activities than we usually do. We're oftentimes in the kitchen more than we are usually are. There's so much more that is on our plates than usually is. And it's so imperative that you take time for yourself. You have to recharge. I've heard it recently said that moms are the heart of Christmas and it's so true. I mean, don't get me wrong, dads participate a whole bunch too, but really when it comes down to it, a lot of the times it's the mom that's doing it. She's the one preparing the menus, shopping for the holiday food, stuffing the stockings, get, writing the gift lists, bussing people around to wherever it is that they need to go. A lot of it falls on her shoulders and it's so important that you take time to recharge yourself. That might mean you take a hot bath. It might mean turning off social media and settling in for a Christmas movie and something delicious to drink and eat. It might mean getting away for a coffee with a girlfriend. It might mean going for a run or a walk, but you need to prioritize and set aside time for yourself this holiday season. It's important. If ever there's a time to beg, borrow, and steal time away, it is 
now. Swap time with a girlfriend. Maybe she'll watch your kids one day and you watch her kids one day so that you both get time to be by yourselves. Call in the aunts, the uncles, the friends, the whoever to watch your kiddos so that you can get away and have some time to recharge. It's so, so, so important. Don't use the excuse that you're so busy because remember, you have to go back to what a successful Christmas is going to look like for you and your family. And if you are ragged and stressed out and feeling grumpy, that does not equal success by any stretch of the imagination. You have to be really honest with yourself here. It's okay to let go of obligations this holiday season. Personally, when people talk about saying no to things around Christmas, I'm usually the one who wants to say yes. I want to do all the things because I find it fun. It feeds my soul. I love being around people. I love to do stuff. However, I have to be really honest with myself that sometimes just because I like to do it doesn't mean it's the best move for my family. And I'll give you an example. My husband's extended family has a Christmas Eve party and they've been doing it for years and years and years since my husband was little, probably long before that. And when we were first married, we loved to go to the party. It was so much fun. However, after having little kids, the party is just no longer feasible for us. It starts when my kids go to bed. And if we attend the party, that means that my kids stay up late, they're grumpy, and they're tired for Christmas. And that is the day that we're all working towards. I want them to be in the best moods and to be the happiest then. So to go out and spend a late night at a Christmas Eve party is just not the wisest choice for my family. And we've gotten a bit of flack over the years for not attending. And to be quite honest, it is, it's sad to not participate because some relatives we don't really get to see all year long except on Thanksgiving. Wow, buddy, I see your toes. But I had to be honest with myself and with my family about what will work for us. One other tip is to manage your calendar. Set aside some time to work with your planner or with your calendar and write out all of the things that you want to do. Set up some timelines. Maybe you want to have all of your stocking stuffers bought by a certain point. Maybe you want your gifts wrapped by a certain day. Perhaps you want to schedule out the Christmas movies that you want to watch so you make sure that you get them all watched. I know that's one thing that I need to do. Movie watching is my favorite, but if I'm not intentional about it, I'm probably not going to get it done. So set aside some time and get together with your planner, get really personal with it, and write out the things that you want to accomplish this holiday season. I'm gonna leave some resources in the description box, including a free course that you can take to help reduce holiday stress. So make sure that you look down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I am wishing you the absolute best Christmas holiday season. I would love to hear your tips down below about keeping the stress out of Christmas. Remember the reason for the season. Remember why we're celebrating. Keep your heart and mind focused on those things and learn to say no 